Uh, we would like today to answer a very important question, which is what are the line and phase electrical quantities, which including the voltage and the current in a three phase system? So we would start with a Y Y connection. When you say Y Y connection, it means that the source is connected in Y and the load is connected in Y as as well. So we have to define these terminologies phase voltage line voltage phase current and line current and we will start with the with the voltage what is a phase voltage is the voltage that is across the phase so here here we have a b c so we have a three phase and this N is for the neutral, the common point, because the Y connection has a common point. So this is what we call a V phase, a phase voltage across that phase. This is from the source side. And here is your V phase from the load side. So the voltage between the phase starting a and the neutral this is called a phase the phase voltage so what is the line to line voltage is the voltage between two lines any two lines so for example this is a line between a small a to capital a b b so that is a v sometimes we could line to line or for short v line that is the the line to line voltage and the same thing for the load this is the v line to line so it's very obvious that v phase and v line to line are different voltages they are not the same voltage and that's very clearly here from the two points because this v phase between a and n could be between b and n c and n but the line to line voltage is between a and b b and c and c and a since we have two different points then the voltages will not be will not be the same so what is the relation if any between the phase voltage and the line to line voltage let's try to derive this Okay, so here we have the same diagram for the YY connection. I will do that at the source side. So this is my line to line voltage. I will call it VAB because it's between two lines, line A and B. Now, if I take a KVL here, In that loop, summation of voltages in any closed loop is equal to zero. So we have minus VAN plus VAB plus VBN equal to zero, or VAB is equal to VAN minus VBN. Now we agree that in a three phase system, that the voltages will have the same magnitude so i will assume that each voltage will have a magnitude of v so van will have a magnitude of v with certain angle and vbn will have the same magnitude with a different angle and then we said that there is a minus 120 degree phase shift or plus plus minus 120 phase shift Okay, so if we assume VN as our reference with zero angle, then VBN will have minus 120 degree. Okay, so this is equal to V. And then uh, we will have one angle of zero minus one angle of minus 120. So this is V this will be we will convert this now from uh, polar to rectangular so this will be one minus then this will be one cosine minus 120 plus j times one sine of minus 120 so we convert the polar to a uh, rectangular so this is equal to v one 
minus. Now cosine minus 120 is cosine 120, which is equal to minus one half. And sine minus 120 is minus sine 120, which is equal to minus j root 3 over over 2. So this is equal to v. And 1 minus minus half is equal to 3 over 2 plus j root 3 over over 2. And this will equal to root 3 v angle of plus 30. And that is a very, very important relationship in three-phase system. In Y connection, so let me put the conclusion in Y connection the v line or line to line is equal to root 3 the v phase an angle of plus plus 30 so that is the conclusion for the voltage in the in the y connection now let's talk about the the currents so again, now here we have line currents. The line current is the current that goes through the lines between the source to the load. So I will call here, this is I, A, A, I, B, B, and I, C, C. So these are called line currents. Now, what is the phase current? That the current that goes through the phase. So this is my phase current, I, A, N, I B N and this is my I C N and it's very clear very obvious that the line current and the phase current are exactly the same okay so here's the second conclusion in Y connection I line is equal to I I phase now there's one last point about the YY connection. There is an extra point, we call it the neutral. Okay, so now I have here this current I, A, A, and then I have here I, B, B, and then I, C, C, and then this is the return current, the I neutral, the neutral current. Okay, so what is the value of this neutral current? So your I neutral, I will just for short, I'll put I neutral is equal to your KCL I A A plus I B B plus I C C. Now, again, in a balanced system, the currents and the voltages, they are all having the same magnitude and have exact the plus minus 120 phase shift between them. OK, so when you add this, Let's assume this current has an angle of zero. You can assume any angle, doesn't really matter. So it has this one magnitude and angle of zero. Plus, this will have the same magnitude, but minus 120. And this will have the same magnitude, but plus 120. Now, if we uh, try to convert this into uh, rectangular, so this will become equal to I plus I minus one half minus j root three over two plus i minus one half plus j root three over two so this will cancel minus half plus minus half is minus one and with this so everything and this will be equal to zero and this is something very interested in a balanced system, the neutral current is equal to zero. So I N is equal to, to zero. OK, so this is for Y, Y connection. These are the most important rules. The line voltage equal to root three, the phase voltage and add plus 30 to the angle. The phase current and the line current are the same. The neutral current is equal to zero. Now let's go and see the delta connection, and we have delta delta to make it easy for the for the calculations. Okay. Now let's go back to the voltages. The phase voltage is the voltage across the phase 
The line voltage is the voltage between the lines. So this is your B line, and this is your V phase. And it's very obvious that in delta connection that the V phase and the V line are exactly the same. So V phase is equal to V V line. How about the currents? So in the currents here, they are not the same. These are the phase currents, I, A, B, I, B, C, I, C, A. And this is the line current, I, A. So we'll apply KCL here, apply KCL to this point, And you can say that your I, A, the line current, is equal to I, A, B, minus I, C, A. Okay, now again, these currents will have the phase shift. Now, here the difference is between IBA and ICA, and the phase shift is plus, minus, plus 120 or minus 240. Okay, the difference between IAB and IBC is minus 120. So if I draw this as a phasor diagram like this, so this is your IAB, I. B, C, and I, C, A. So there is a minus 240 phase shift between, between these currents. So I can represent I, C, A in terms of I, A, B. So I can say this is I, A, B minus I, A, B, but an angle of minus 240. As a matter of fact, I, C, A, and I, B are equal. Okay, but they have the minus 240 phase shift. So this is equal to I, A, B, one minus one angle of minus 240. And now let's convert everything uh, into uh, phasor, uh, into rectangular, from polar to rectangular. So this will become equal to I, A, B. This will become equal to after you do convert and you do the uh, subtraction, this will become equal to one half minus j root three over over two. So this equal to root three i a b angle of minus thirty. So what is the conclusion here? For delta connection, the line current is equal to root three the phase current with an angle of minus minus 30. So to sum up everything, Y connection. We have two quantities. We have the line voltage is equal to root three, the V phase angle of plus 30. And the line current and the phase current are exactly the same. In delta connection, you have the V line is equal to the V phase, and the I line is equal to root 3 I phase angle of minus 30.